Hi everyone, how you doing? Today, let's talk about composite veneers versus porcelain veneers. Uh, they're both different types of veneers and there's a big price difference between the two. Let's talk about the pros and cons, which is better and if applicable, which one is the right choice for you. Now, if you've been thinking about improving your smile, you probably see that a lot of celebrities have veneers and typically these are porcelain veneers. And then you start Googling and asking your dentist and a lot of places offer composite veneers, which are a fraction of the price and, and they look really good. You know, you see the before and after photos of a composite case versus a, a, a porcelain case. And if you look closely, you can definitely tell the difference, but from afar, it's very difficult to, to really tell the, the difference. So what is the difference and why is one better than the other? Now, for the sake of this video, I'm going to talk about porcelain veneers as porcelain veneers. I'm not going to split it up into our zirconia, our felspathic, our Emax veneers. Let's just call it porcelain. A porcelain veneer is something where your dentist would take a mold or a scan, send it off to a ceramist in a dental lab. They would make the veneers and the veneers are then glued onto your teeth. With the composite veneers, Composite is the material that dentists have been using for forever to do white fillings at the back of the mouth and it can be used to improve the look of the teeth at the front. And one treatment which is really popular, which I, I used to do a lot of, is composite edge bonding. And bonding is essentially using this material, blending it in with your natural tooth and just refining the bottom edge of the teeth. So typically when people have had braces, their teeth are, are worn in funny patterns, so the bottom edge of their teeth is uneven. So when we straighten everything out, we want the bottom edge of the teeth to look good. So we add composite material just in little bits here and there, just to improve that bottom edge of the, the smile. So that's composite bonding. So if we look at a tooth in cross section, the tooth is worn at the bottom, we've got our composite bonding. The difference between this and a composite veneer is the veneer would wrap around the front surface of the tooth. So this is useful if you want to completely resurface the tooth, if you want to change the width of the tooth, change the, the appearance of the tooth in, in more dimensions than just adding to one edge. In addition, it can be used to uh, improve the colour of the teeth, uh, although if you really want to change the colour, you need to add thickness of material, whether it be composite or porcelain. And in my experience, porcelain tends to mask discoloration better than, than composite does. Now, with both composite veneers or porcelain veneers, typically a little bit of tooth reduction is needed. And a tooth reduction, you know, if you've seen my other videos, you'll realize that we try and do as little tooth reduction as possible uh, because it is a biological cost. It's a cost which you, you can't recoup. You'll never get that tooth back. So we want to keep that as little as possible, um, but also deliver the best kind of results. And with composite, you inevitably reduce a lot less tooth than you would with porcelain. So this is a big advantage for the, the composite veneers. Another advantage is that if they chip, they are quite easy to repair. Um, it can be glued on. You can just get new composite and glue it onto the, the old composite, then polish it in. The repair looks pretty, pretty decent. And also the composite veneers can typically be done in one treatment session. So you don't need to come back to have them fitted. So again, it's another massive advantage. There's no cost of a dental laboratory uh, making the veneers. So that cost is passed down to the patients, which is one reason that they're, they're cheaper. And also because it's all done in one go, they're quicker to do as well. So that's another reason that composite veneers are cheaper than porcelain veneers. Now, if these are the main advantages, and they are big advantages, why wouldn't everyone always do composite veneers? The truth is, they, they look good on the day, but in my experience and my hands, they do lose their, their shine very quickly. You see, composite is a softer material. And although I'm able to polish it and make it look really glossy like a natural tooth, as soon as you go home, you start using your toothbrush, your electric toothbrush with you know, your favorite toothpaste, which is designed to be mildly abrasive to, to get rid of staining on your teeth. What this does, this, this reduces the shine of the, the composite. Most people don't really notice this. It's not a big deal. It happens typically within the first month or two. And 
after that that initial shine is has been reduced it, they, they stay quite stable after that but with porcelain that's not going to happen whereas if you if you imagine a porcelain veneer is made of something similar to glass you know you, glass is much more kind of hard wearing in terms of scratch resistance and porcelain restorations they have this glaze which is very hard wearing so when i see patients who have had porcelain veneers 5 10 15 years down the line their teeth still look amazing they've still got this really great shine to them whereas the the composite veneer ones they look okay um and really it's it's a dentist who's going to know but if you are looking for something that is better and long lasting i would say you know consider porcelain uh, because for its wear properties it is a lot better now sometimes it's not a straightforward choice because a lot of the patients who i see have already got crowns or large fillings and things like that already there and so these need to be removed and if we're removing a crown we should put, replace it with a porcelain restoration i.e a porcelain crown and if we're treating the whole smile it doesn't make sense to use porcelain on one tooth and then composite somewhere else the only reason to do that would be to reduce cost because we're never going to match the color of the porcelain and the composite um, especially in all the different lighting scenarios so in in different lights the teeth can look dramatically different because they reflect light differently so this means if you've got a porcelain restoration which needs changes maybe maybe it's a, an old metal crown and the blackness is showing through you should take that out and if you're looking to improve the look of your smile consider porcelain veneers on some of the other teeth to keep that cohesive look to make it look natural and make it all just match in not to Today, not tomorrow but you know still matching three four years down the line see another property of composite is that over time it will absorb moisture from your mouth and this can cause color changes it can cause staining at the edge of the porcelain uh, sorry of the composite uh, veneer or the composite restoration so again this is one of those things which I don't really um, like about the the material but this is seen you know much further down the line so I don't know how long these composite veneers will last let's say five eight years in that kind of ballpark and then they they start looking a little bit messy you could just have them stripped off and have new composite veneers done again the the cost of the composite is less than the the cost of the porcelain and if you've had very minimal tooth reduction at the outset then it means you know you you still got your own teeth everything it can just be stripped new composite can be placed or at that stage you might think you know what i'd prefer to have porcelain so you can upgrade to porcelain restorations at that stage the important thing to realize is that everything has its upkeep it, there's no such thing as a dental treatment that you can have and suddenly all your problems are fixed and you're never going to get problems in the future there's been so many celebrities who've had porcelain veneers and they a, a veneer pops off right sometimes this happens it's pretty rare but sometimes it does happen so it can be easily fixed it can be re-glued on if you've got porcelain veneers or you know a friend and the, the veneers are chipping that's not a problem of the material it's not because the material is too soft usually that's a bite problem rather than a material problem so Although porcelain is stronger and composite is a bit softer, it is true that composite is more prone to breaking, but it is easier to fix as well. So there's a lot of pros and cons involved with this. So if you're shopping around for porcelain veneers or composite veneers, you'll find a massive variation in cost, okay, especially on the porcelain veneer side. And really the big difference is attention to detail and experience of the dentist. What you'll find is those people who are very experienced, they've done loads of these treatments for a lot of people to a high standard, and you know they're looking in minute detail on every smile, they are going to charge more and be more expensive. Whereas really anyone can make a porcelain restoration all you do is you know do a little bit of adjustment and if you don't know what you're doing you can always over adjust the teeth and take a mold of it and the lab will make some kind of porcelain veneer um, to to fit that so i hope you found this video useful if you've got any questions comments you can leave them below and if you got something out of it you know give it a thumbs up give it a like and i will see you soon in another video guys all right take care